Let's get started with the installation. Download the latest EV3Dev disk image, which includes EV3 Python. Download and install Etcher, a free, simple program that you will use to copy the EV3Dev operating system to your micro SD card. You will need a program that will allow your PC to communicate with your EV3. The EV3Dev team recommends PuTTY, but I recommend and use in this video a free program for Windows PCs called MOBA Xterm Home Edition. I prefer this to PuTTY because it allows me to easily carry out many operations that would otherwise need annoying cryptic Linux commands, such as for displaying directory listings or creating, renaming and deleting files and directories and so on. Go ahead and download MOBA Xterm Home Edition. You'll be asked to choose between a portable version and an installer version. If in doubt, then I recommend you choose the installer version. If you prefer, you can of course download PuTTY instead. MOBA Xterm has a built-in text editor that you could use to write Python programs, because you can in fact use any text editor to write Python programs. But it's better to use an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, because that gives you extra features like autocomplete and debugging help. I recommend the Python IDE called PyCharm EDU because it's specially made for learners, it's free, and it's available for several platforms including Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. OK, so you've downloaded the four files that I suggested, these four. Or maybe you chose to download Putty instead of MOBA Xterm. Obviously, I'm doing all of this on uh, Windows, by the way. I believe MOBA Xterm is only available for Windows. I'm not too sure about Putty. Putty, I believe, is Windows only. If you don't have Windows, you need to check the Getting Started section of ev3dev.org to see what you should be using when we get to that stage. But Etcher is compatible, I believe, with probably Windows and Linux and perhaps Mac OS as well. You can see the disk image that I've downloaded is the one from October 17, 2016. So it's very recent, just a few days old. And you can see it's a zip file. The zip file actually includes a uh, IMG file. But you don't have to unzip this before you use Etcher because Etcher is compatible with zip files and IMG files and also XZ files. So the next step is to use Etcher to copy the EV3 dev operating system and EV3 Python onto the micro SD that you should have bought and should have uh, attached to your computer. I'm going to start Etcher. And you can see the interface is very simple. Three steps only. Select an image, select the drive that is the micro SD card in, in our case that we want to copy to, and then go ahead and flash the image. So I'm clicking. There's the image. And opening that, there's a EV3Dev logo right there. And uh, next step is to select the drive, which in my case the drive selection has sort of happened automatically because I only have one possible drive that makes sense to etch a it's the correct drive. It's a 4 gigabyte micro SD drive that I just bought. It's empty. Your SD card doesn't have to be empty, but you need to be aware that if there's anything on it, it's going to be 
completely erased by this flashing process. So we're going to flash the drive now and I will time this at the same time. Although, of course, the flashing time will depend on your computer. Total time now about two minutes since I started. The next step is to take the card out of the uh, PC and put it into the EV3, which should be turned off when you do that. And then we can try to make the connection between the EV3 and the PC.